Willard Katsande has said something that I find very interesting, which in part I agree with, but I also disagree with very much. And the same goes for what Deko Modise said about Kaiser Chiefs. So what did Katsande say? He says that Baxter, Stuart Baxter, the coach who last won anything for Kaiser Chiefs, was a very good coach. Now, he talks about how he communicated his methods clearly and concisely that it didn't complicate things his training methods were good he was a good motivator you know he just counts all of these things that you need in a coach now obviously i'm not gonna disagree with the man when he says that baxter was a great motivator because duh he played under him and he got motivated by him what i disagree with is when he says that if stuart baxter had stayed at chiefs Chiefs would have continued to be dominant. I disagree with you uh, because you know you know the reason why I say that because we, we saw the difference between the 2014-2015 Baxter and the 2020-21 Stuart Baxter because what has happened essentially is that football has evolved a lot. So with football evolving that also require coaches to also do what? evolve and the fact that Ubaxter was still sticking to his 2014 tactics without any modification while there's been so much shift in football that then made Ubaxter look like a fossil in trying to coach because you have coaches like Aborulani Mkwen I know a lot of people don't like him but you have him who's coming up and looking at Pep people are saying he's copying Pep but everyone is copying pep because who's not copying pep right so they're innovative they they have things that they're doing in their teams different things and tina were still stuck in the same things and the other biggest problem for example with minton Dorp, for example just to to to, to relate with what with what was happening then is that even with minton Dorp, you see that he dominated the first part of the 2019 2020 season until people figured him out and he wasn't able to continue dominating anymore so now teams are smart like i remember i, I got this uh, i don't know i won't say revelation but i was so surprised when club said something like this liverpool were going to play uh leicester city and people said oh how are you going to stop jamie vardy and then club said if jamie vardy doesn't get the ball he doesn't get to score I was like, that's brilliant thinking. We cannot be worried about marking a striker. We should be worried about how the ball gets to the striker. And that's what teams started to do against Chiefs. They started to stop the supply into the 18 area. And then it didn't matter whether Nukovic could head uh, the ball from the center line to goal because he was no longer getting supply. To make matters worse in the case of Ernst Milton Dorp, we also lost to George Malulega because Chiefs let him go. So I'm just looking at that and looking at how dependent actually Stuart Baxter was in his team. That is how dependent he was on the 12 players that he had. I mean, we talked about this a few weeks ago. Stuart Baxter would play Morgan Gold, Defuma Shamaite and Eric Matoho all at once and then just have uh, basically virtual players who are capable of always hitting the ball. But you forget that there are other methods of playing now. Teams do not need to basically say, oh no, we can't cross, so what are we going to do against Chiefs? So teams now play the ball, and then they just play the ball around us, and they end up scoring. It's no longer headers, you understand me? So I I, I, I think that as, as a legend, as he is Willard Katsande, I think he got this one wrong, Guti. Chiefs would still be dominant if Stuart Baxter never left the team. Which brings me to Udeko Modise, another very legendary player in South African football, who has said something that most of us agree with, actually. He says that Chiefs should go back to their roots, who agrees with me. Yeah, exactly, I thought so, everyone. He also says that he thinks people who should be on the bench at Kaiser Chiefs are people who are familiar 
with the style of play of Kaiser Chiefs. People who have worn the gold and black colors of Kaiser Chiefs. Now everyone, when we talk about people who have worn the colors of Chiefs, they think of Dr. Kumal and all of these people. You know, the problem that I have with that name is that, yes, these people understand the culture of Kaiser Chiefs, but the problem is, are they qual- not qualified but are they experienced enough because there's a difference between knowing how to play ball and knowing how to coach football for example i'm a worse player than i am a coach you understand what i'm saying you have people who are so good at doing something and like it frustrates them when they cannot actually get the information across look at Lampard there is no doubt that Frank Lampard was a good player a legend of the game there is no doubt to go to Thierry Henry was a legend of the game Wayne Rooney very good Steven Gerrard but what do all of those three men have in common I'll wait they are struggling to coach they are struggling to make it as coaches and the question is how come a person who's so good at playing the sport is not capable then of coaching the game you understand so yeah we can say Dr. Kumalo is so great but the question is what is his track record where has he coached where has he done something and achieved a lot because that's where questions come in Uguti. if you are going to bring this man to case achieves to sit on the bench you need someone who can not just read a game as a player but who can also play the chess that is modern football because now in modern football you'll find a wood it's just about the battle of the two minds that are sitting on the bench and the people who are assisting him it's not just about oh doctor was good in football let's make him a person there oh shabalala was such a good player let's make him part of the technical team but it's now more about have they actually gone out and done it as coaches does this mean shabalala sucks no it means the same energy that we've been applying in saying that a person who comes to coach case achieves must not only be a qualified coach you have a pro license or whatever but he must also be a coach with enough experience who has won something because if they are coming to chiefs without a, res- a cv that says look i've won one two and three then the moment that happens people lose interest in him because they're like you haven't won anything my man so why are you here you understand me because even abo zwane the biggest stumbling block against Uata zwane at case achieves wasn't the fact that he started losing matches because when we started one of the biggest things that people were complaining about was experience when has he ever done this before right so even though you can see good a coach does good things here and there but the fact that he doesn't have experience it makes people then go nah fam we can't trust this man because this man has not coached anywhere he's an amateur he's inexperienced and because of that they look like they were never good to begin with but that's what i think what do you guys think let me know down in the comment section below if you've been watching to this far why are you doing such a horrible thing why have you not liked the video like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching and until next time remember equals i'll pay you more